What's up everyone, it's Dave from the Medal of Honor channel and I'm here to do another episode of Six Records. Now this is six records by foreign death metal bands that you may not be aware of, but you need to know about. Uh, typically on this show, being a list show, uh, we usually kind of go with more of the, uh, uh, the, the bands that are a little more mainstream, your, your Metallica and Judas Priest and Iron Maiden, and I wanted to do something a little bit more obscure, and these are bands that I've been listening to a lot lately, so uh, we're sticking with bands, also uh, in death metal bands, but also bands that aren't so well known and American, so we're not doing death, we're not doing obituary, uh, we're not doing Morbid Angel. Also, even some of our Brits like Napalm Death and Benediction. We know these great bands, of course, some of the best actually, but uh, I wanted to do something, like I said, a little more under the radar that maybe you aren't so aware of. Now, for you who are metal elitists out there, uh, who are going to be like, yeah, I've been missing that band ever since they came out. Don't be a dick. I'm talking about uh, just most people may not be aware of these bands and, and you know, we're just kind of spreading the love or spreading the metal. Uh, so anyway, once again, six records by foreign death metal bands that you may not be aware of, but you need to know about. So number six is Defleshed. This is Under the Blade. This band is Swedish death metal, and in the uh, as as is well known with Swedish death metal, they have that great chainsaw guitar sound. Uh, it's something very unique that uh, you know kind of stem from bands like Entombed that had this kind of really buzzy guitar tone, and these guys, of course, uh, had that too. Um, interesting thing about this: this is a, a re-release. Originally, this album came out in 1997, and then they uh, re-put this out in 2000. This band actually. Uh, split up uh, in 2005 uh, and this was put out by Hammerheart the reason why it's important for you to know about this band is that they uh, just reformed last month January 2021 so it's a good chance we'll be hearing some stuff from them and they are kick-ass band you need to check out D flushed Number five is another band on Hammerheart Records. This is Konkra. Uh, Konkra, this is, they are from Denmark. Formed in 1988, actually, uh, under the name of Vicious Circle. You can imagine when they formed in 1988, they've been through a lot of changes. Uh, badass band, I mean, just killer production, very brutal sound. And uh, what's really cool about these guys is, um, you know, this album in particular, I mean, just amazing production on it. These guys are labeled as extreme metal. I don't know, it sounds like death metal to me, to be honest with you. Um, it's pretty badass. Uh, these guys, uh, most of it music and the, the guitars and the vocals and all the songwriting is all by Anders Ludenmark. Uh, so he's, you know, he's the main guy and he's got, you know, of course, his uh, band to back him up. Uh, Got to have a great leader in your band, and uh, this one definitely is a killer album. You should absolutely check this one out. This one came out in 2019. Uh, Conquer actually has quite a few albums, so uh, somebody that's definitely worth checking out. If you feel like kicking someone's ass, do it to this soundtrack. Conquer Ride, number five. Uh, at number four, we're going to go with Skeletal. Or Skeletal. Yeah, it's one of those. Um, anyways, uh, these guys are... French band uh, and oh, very brutal. They got a lot of old school death metal sensibility to them. In fact, even aspects of the vocals almost remind me a little bit of Chuck Schuldner from uh, Death or Chuck Schuldiner, if you if you will. Um, but yeah, a really cool band. This album uh, actually is on Hell's Headbangers, came out in 2017. Uh, they're, they actually have a newer album than this one, uh, I believe it was just last year's release, 2020 release, called Unveiling the Threshold. Uh, still gotta get my hands on that one, but really kick-ass band. Uh, nice album art there, kind of, the album is called Of the Depths and the, the artwork on there really matches it, so very cool album. These guys formed in Lille, France in 2012, and uh, it's a good brutal sound to it. If you like your old school death metal, check out Skeletal Skeletal. Number three is a band I really dig a lot, and I've been listening to them because it reminds me of another band I love. This is Ordo Infernus for number three. Uh, this is uh, 
Invictus et Eternus. Uh, I've talked about this album and most of these uh, on my other shows before, but uh, what I like about this band a lot is they remind me very much of Vader, who's one of my favorite death metal bands. Now, even though this band is intercontinental, uh, most of the band is Swedish. But what's interesting is that they didn't really go with the... Uh, not that they don't have the influence of other uh, Swedish death metal bands, but like I said, they do really have a very Vader-esque sound to them, which, you know, I dig a lot. So, this album is on Dementia Records. This one came out in actually 2014. Uh, and it's actually a mixture of members from other bands, members from... Uh, God Hate, Necrophobic, and Morpheus all make up Ordo Infernus. Definitely a cool album to get your hands on. I listen to this one a lot. Number two is a band that's actually been getting a decent amount of attention lately, and that is Wolfheart. Uh, I've talked about them a few times. I believe I did a review on one of my first episodes of Medal of Honor, and I've been listening to it again a lot recently. I uh, actually saw a fairly new video of theirs, and I uh, understand that they're working on new material. Wolfheart, this is The Wolves of Corellia. Uh, and this was a uh, this was last year's release, 2020, on uh, Napalm Records. Uh, so it's probably one of the bands that you're more likely to have heard of. Uh, these guys are from Finland, and definitely have a, a, a nice solid death metal sound with a good uh, mid-tempo kind of a feel to it. Um, although they can get fast when they want to. There is definitely elements of Viking metal and black metal and thrash and stuff mixed in here as well. Um, but, you know, for the most part, I mean, it just sounds like good, solid, uh, wintry death metal. Uh, Tuomas Sakonen is the uh, main uh, vocalist, guitarist, uh, songwriter in this band. And he was in a lot of other bands. He actually had a several projects going, uh, including Before the Dawn, was one of his uh, better known bands. Um, and then uh, once he got this Wolfheart going, this project going, he, he dropped all those and just basically has mainly been focusing on that. So um, this is a killer album and definitely should check this out. If you want to check out, you know, just like I said, more of a mid-tone, very mid-tempo, very strong sounding death metal, check out Wolfheart. All right, and number one uh, for me, you know, like I said, this is just my list. This is just the, what I came up with. It's not all new stuff. There's plenty of other great bands out there, of course, but like I said, these ones are ones I've been listening to a lot lately. Uh, I talked about this one a while ago, uh, not only for the great music, but also for the great art involved in that, and that is Entrapment. Uh, this is through Realms Unseen. Um, oh, I just really dig this album. Uh, I know I've talked about the, uh, the artwork in here before, but um, really solid production on this. Um, uh, it is, I guess you would consider it more melodic death metal. A lot of these bands actually can be. It just shows musicianship. It's not just how fast can we blast through stuff, um, but some really good riffs and uh, just, you know, really good playing in general, uh, the whole band. Um, there is a lot of old school death metal sensibilities to it, but you know, they've got some newer edges too. This one came out on Pulverized Records in 2016. They've put out uh, new stuff since then. Uh, in fact, one song, they actually did a cover song uh, recently of uh, Rapture by Paradise Lost. So, uh, which, uh, you know, of course, will let you know that these guys do have a little bit of death doom to them, which is a whole other subgenre I need to get into sometimes because that actually is probably what I've been listening to the most is Death Doom. Uh, thank you very much, Liam, uh, the Death Doom metalhead, uh, for, uh, for getting me into that stuff. But anyway, uh, so yeah, this album is a must-have. If you haven't checked out Entrapment, get this album, and I just love it. So there you go. So if you don't listen to a ton of death metal, well now I just gave you a pretty good list of stuff to check out, so let's go back through it there. Uh, number six, Defleshed Under the Blade. Uh, number five is Conkra, Alpha and the Omega. Number four is Skeletal of the Depths. Number three, Ordo Infernus with Invictus et Eternus. Number two, Wolf Heart, the Wolves of Corellia. And the number one album by a foreign death metal band that you may not be aware of, but I think you ought to be, is Entrapment 
through realms unseen. Uh, these all these bands have other albums that uh, I'm getting my hands on, but you know I'm just buying so much shit. So, uh, and I'm always looking out for new bands. And those of you who are really into this list, you might have your own list. So let me know of some great bands. And you know I know a lot of people out there are like really into Swedish death metal uh, and other you know forms of European death metal. So. Um, I'd like to hear more uh, your recommendations. Give me your six uh, death metal bands that I should check out. Put them down in the comments. And as always, uh, I hope that you uh, hit the like button, uh, hit the subscribe button more than anything. And uh, until next time, keep the horns up, the needle down.